Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my photo ready makeup routine. And I say this because whenever I do my makeup, I am typically going to take pictures. I do change up the blush and my lip color quite often, but I'll show you my current favorites in this video. So let's clip up our hair first. Got these cute little clips from my best friend Jacqueline. So I think one of the most important parts for any makeup routine is your base. You need a good moisturizer, a good sunscreen. I typically don't use any makeup primer just because I feel like I haven't found one that really makes my makeup last longer. I feel like they all just tend to make my skin more sticky. My current favorite moisturizer. Guys, I just tried this last week. Life-changing. I don't think I'm going back to any other moisturizers. It's this one. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8-hour Hydra Play Skin Perfecting Daily Moisturizer. When I was younger, I felt like this was kind of viewed as a older lady brand but now i get it because the older ladies know what they're doing i need to apply this i'm chatting so much my skin is getting so dry and it has a really nice pleasant smell oh my god it just blends in so beautifully Now my skin refreshed. Now that the moisturizer is on, we cannot forget sunscreen. This one is classic. I'm sure you all know that Beauty of Joseon makes great, amazing, next level sunscreens. I really like this one. I do think that if you have acne prone skin, there are better sunscreen options, and I will put some here. Blend. Okay, now my base is done. Let's get into the actual makeup. I'm gonna move you guys in a little closer. What do we think? Is this good enough? Foundation. I have tried so, so many, so many different ones. And I always go back to this one. I also do really enjoy the house lab one. I just don't currently have that one in my shade. The one that I love and never, ever fails me is RMK one. And I feel like you guys have probably seen this 10 bajillion times, so I'm sorry if you're tired of it. This is a liquid foundation. I am in the shade 102. Shake it. This foundation, it's very nice and light, very buildable. Let me blend it out and show you guys. It dries pretty matte, I would say, but not so matte where it's kind of drying. I have combination skin, so it sits pretty well on all parts of my face. I'm also currently breaking out a lot on my chin, but it does a pretty good job covering that up. I always use a beauty blender as well. I just think that it's the best tool. Now for concealer, I have recently found a new favorite. This one from Lancome. I used to love, and I still love the Kosas one. I just find it during the summertime. It can be almost a little too moisturizing for my skin. So this one is great because it's a little more matte. So I just put it in my inner corners and like that. 
You guys remember those days where we would draw a complete triangle under our eyes? That was crazy. Spot conceal. Again, a lot of hormonal acne under my chin. Now, while I wait, I like to let my concealer sit a little bit. I do my brows. This one is my favorite, Rare Beauty Declare Brow Gel. A lot of brow gels tend to leave a white cast over my brows and it'll peel throughout the day, but this one does not do that. This one just feels great, doesn't peel, and has a really good hold. Now, I blend out the concealer. I start with my chin. I swear to you, I always have something to cover up on my chin, unfortunately. And for under my eyes, I always use my fingers. I feel like they just work the best. Sometimes a beauty blender can soak up too much of the product, so this is great to just make sure I get the ultimate coverage. Now on to my eye makeup. Current go-to is this one by Hints. As you can see, it has gone through some stuff and literally lost a whole chunk. But that's okay, we're using these ones anyways. <laughs> so I take this pink and then this mauve brownish color, very cool tone. Just take that all over my eye. And if I'm feeling extra, I will put this Unleashia glitter stick only in my inner corners, which I'll show you. And so I just put it like this. I blend it out with my fingers. Like everyone else, I use the Shiseido eyelash curler. Curl. Do you see the difference? It's crazy. Now we are on to Lash Clash Mascara. This eye is the eye with the shorter lashes. I don't know if you guys have that, but I definitely am not a fan of my left eye lashes. They always give me trouble. Not a fan of her. That's with the mascara on. Ta da! On to my favorite part, which is blush. I just love switching it up and I love playing with different colors. My current favorite is this one by Nude Sticks. It has SPF 30 and it's in the shade Sun Kiss. When I first applied it, I thought it was kind of scary looking because it kind of looks brownish. But trust the process. Just take it up to my cheekbones like this. And I'm not done yet. So I layer it with this blush by Merit. It's in the shade Rouge. Super pretty, especially for the summertime. Just reminds me of a nice cherry shade. Blending the other cheek, dragging it up as well. Sometimes I worry I have blush blindness, so if you guys think I do, please let me know down below. Don't lie to me. Lastly, the lips. Can't forget her. Current favorite for lip liner is this one from Kosas. I'm not sure the shade there. Infinite. I always change up my lipsticks as well, but currently this is the one I have on hand. Candy Glow by YSL in the shade 3B. Just a nice light coat. Last but not least, we have a lip gloss. This is my current favorite. This is from Gisu. This is in the shade Watermelon Sugar. I love this lip gloss. It's honestly my favorite. I'll show you guys. 
Use see that. This is the makeup look, my go-to look. And what's great about it is it's also a flash proof. And you guys always ask me what camera I'm using for my digital camera for all my pics that I post on Instagram. And this is it. Screenshot her, please. Oh, I will show you. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below or if you'd like to see any other looks. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.